So let's talk about this right now. Uh, Joe, um, uh, Sonny, I'll go to you real quick. The, I've gone through a lot right now. This idea of the cell phone, and I'm gonna get into it in a second, that someone would turn their phone off, that even if you don't have a phone on to track somebody, turning the phone off can be evidence of guilt. Yes, it absolutely can. Although uh, these alleged suspect was clever in some aspects, not too clever because technology was really, really playing a role in this arrest. Uh, being able to document and all, I, I finally had an opportunity to look at everything and you reading it was uh, really wonderful for the audience who is not looking at it. They were able to connect the dots in such a way that a probable cause warrant was absolutely necessary to bring uh, Brian in for this investigation. It would make uh, no sense for them not to move forward with, with the warrant. And because a, this, this guy was actually stopped so many times by law enforcement, it is unbelievable that while he appeared to be smart in some senses where he was being calculated and thought he was asking the right questions and getting the details down, he was not that clever. Law enforcement and the officer and affiant in this particular document was really uh, reaching out to use yeah. all of the resources for law enforcement to connect the dots. It's powerful information. Just, 